Hi there, Larry Ann here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I am working on the third and final animal print soap. There are a couple more that I want to do, but I will do those down the road sometime. I am using plastic free glitter mica and I am dispersing it with some of the oils that I'm using in the soap batter before I add the lye water solution. And I find that that just helps the glitter in the plastic free glitter mica show a little bit better in the final soap product. It also makes it way easier to mix into the soap batter. As you can see, I decided to make the tiger stripes various shades of purple hence the name Violet Tiger. The fragrance that I'm using is lilac scented and it smells exactly like lilacs. Did you know that I list everything that I use in the description box below? Well, if you didn't before, you do now. I put the soap mold on an incline using a rolled up towel and now I will just alternate the three different shades of purple that I have. And I do also wanna mention with this fragrance oil, you get acceleration, okay? Did you see how it went from liquidy to very thick? That was within minutes, not several minutes, maybe like two minutes. So just be aware that with this fragrance oil, and I think most floral fragrance oils accelerate quickly. So with this soap, I did a lot of tapping. Uh, I even had to tap it on the floor a few times because it was so thick, you know, in order to get it level, I had to really tap it. Oh my, is it already time to see what's on my in-bed tray? Yes, yes it is time. And they are some lovely purple flowers and I will show you how I made them right now. Fun times, fun times. So now I am placing the piping soap into some plastic. It would work better if I had that press and seal plastic, but I didn't have any, so. And I'm doing this because I want two colors in the piping bag at the same time, and it's just easier to do it this way. Just cut off one side of the plastic twist and then place that side into the piping bag. I helped decorate a wedding one time and I didn't want to lose my scissors, so that's why my name is on the scissors, okay? So I literally just wanted a bunch of random two-tone ruffles, swirls, whatever you want to call it, on top of the soap. I'm not going for any particular pattern or decoration, just like a pile of two-tone ribbons.
Well, would you look at that? It's time for the mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. Two days later, let's see what this soap looks like. Oh, would you look at that? Lions and tigers and bears. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm being extra goofy. I know. Um, the sun is outside. I haven't seen the sun for days, it seems like. And when the sun comes out, I'm just happy and goofy. But I really like the way this soap turned out. I just want to take a moment and say thank you very much to those of you who have subscribed. It really means a lot. It really encourages me to keep going. So thank you for that. Next up, I'm working on the cupcake soaps. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go and I'm going to make my lye water solution. And I'm going to make those cupcakes. I'm going to start. Okay. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.